Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are excited for this one. I shall I say, just as excited as I am for this one. Saltwater micro fishing, that's what's on the agenda today, but we gotta get some stuff done first. We got the fish guy jack shades on. We're ready to absolutely rock and roll. We got our micro rod that you guys have seen in my last video, but we need to go to the tackle store and we gotta get some frozen shrimp. We gotta get some tiny hooks and we gotta get some weights so we can make this happen. We got the micro rod already in the bed of the truck. We got a bucket. We just need some bait, some hooks, some leader, and some weights. So let's get moving. All right, we got all that we needed in this bag right here. We got hooks, we got weights. There's our hooks right there. Just some tiny little guys right there because we're going after some really small fish. We got a little split shots there. And then we got our bait, which is going to be ugh, some frozen shrimp right there. We're locked, cocked, and ready to rock. I'll see you guys at the fishing spot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our location. We're gonna be fishing right here underneath this bridge. I've seen a lot of, uh, let's just say, I guess we can call them colorful fish, little tiny aquarium fish. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be taking anything for the tanks back home, but if we do catch something cool enough and I like it and it's totally legal for me to take, you bet your ass I'm taking that thing home and putting them in one of our tanks in the tank room. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm gonna rig up here now and we're gonna get this show on the road. Okay, everybody, just wanna give another quick little run through since it was pretty quick in the truck. We're just fishing right here. Just a tiny little hook, probably the size of your fingernail. A tiny little split shot weight that we're gonna attach to the line to help sink our bait down to the bottom because that's where a lot of these little fish are. And then we have a, some frozen shrimp here. We're just gonna put a little chunk of it on the hook, drop it down, and we should pull up fish after fish after fish after fish after fish. You know why? Because we're freaking fish guys and fish girls. We gotta get the fishing rod. The weapon of choice is not rigged, sadly. That's one of downfall of right now, but you know what? You know what's not a downfall, ladies and gentlemen? Is that we're out here fishing. It's about 5.30 on a, on a Wednesday today. And uh, you know what? We're just enjoying life, catching some tiny little micro fish, and posting it on YouTube. I can't complain, y'all, I can't complain. Ladies and gents, we are all rigged up. We're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to rock and roll. We got our bucket, we got our rod, we got some bait. We gotta get water in this bucket and we gotta catch some micro fish, baby. I'm fired up. This is the way I wanna end my day, ladies and gentlemen. Just going out here fishing, getting the line wet. And you know what? It may, we may not be catching the biggest fish, but we're out here. Look how beautiful it is. Check it out. I mean, come on, I probably sound like a 40 year old man, but you know what? I'd probably be doing this anyway, and I'm just happy I can turn it into my job. So thank you everyone, I appreciate it. So we just walked up here to the beautiful intercoastal here. Got this nice little beach going along here. And right below here, I already see a bunch of little tiny fish sitting down in the rocks there. I don't know if you guys can see them darting around, but we need to get water in our bucket here first. Then we can drop a line in and see what we can pull up. Let's try to get, let's set a goal. Let's try to get eight different species. Eight different species of fish. I think we can do it. Fingers crossed. We got some shrimp. We got freaking water. We got a good positive attitude and we're having a great day today. All right, it's time to get some water. Boom, on the little beach here. Into the water we go. Let's get some water here. Perfect. Now we're getting water just in case we do catch something that we might want to keep. And you never know, we might just keep everything and then let it go all on at the end of the video, but it's good just to have water on standby because you never know what you're gonna pull up. Now I do see lots of fish down here, but I just know that over there by the bridge, it's a much deeper. And if we drop down there, we should catch a much different variety of fish. So that's where we're gonna go fish now. And let's see what we can do, baby. Let's see what we can do. So we've made it to the spot. Now there's a bunch of tiny little fish and I'm sure you all can see right in there and they're all piled up down below. I chunked up a lot of pieces of shrimp. We got our micro rod, we got our bucket of water, and we got our goal of eight species to catch. Eight tiny fish, hopefully colorful, that we can see. That's our goal. Let's see if we can do it. Let's get our line in the water. Fettuccine Alfredo. Okay, first bait getting hooked up here. Nice tiny little piece of shrimp on that micro little hook. Four pound line, tiny little split shot. Let's see what we can do with our first bait. Here we go. Oh, got one. Oh, baby. What do we got? First fish. You guys see that right there? Mangrove snapper, first fish. Now, the reason why they call these things snappers because they snap with their mouth. Now, look at those fangs in their mouth. Blue little line right there. Such a beautiful fish. Too small to keep. These things have to be 10 inches to keep. 
actually very good eating fish, but this guy's only about five inches, so he's gotta go home. Good thing about that one is, we still got our bait. Here we go. Oh, we got another one. Oh, same fish right there. This one seems to be a little bit more white. Ow, ow. You don't wanna get bit by these things. I'll tell you what, you get bit by these, you're done. Once again, too small. Still got our bait though. Come on, we want something else. Got him. <laughs> now that's a micro puffer. Are you kidding me? That's why I use this micro rod, light line, tiny hook. Look at the size of this puffer. I don't think I've ever seen a puffer this small. There he is, that tiny little puffer right there. Check out how <laughs> tiny he is. He's so small. Little trick, if you tickle their belly. Come on, come on, blow up for me. No, you don't wanna blow up? Okay, well you get to go home. Tiny little puffer, see ya bud. Okay, so we got two species, three fish total. We gotta get six more species. Let's see if we can get one right here. If we don't get another, if we don't get a different species, we're gonna move down. And don't you guys worry, I'm gonna get you guys active here in a second. I just wanna show you guys a few fish. Then I'm gonna get you in my hand. We're gonna be fishing with one hand, holding the camera, getting you guys involved. So let's drop down one more time here and hopefully we can get a different fish. What do we got? Ooh, different fish y'all. Different fish. What do we got here? This one right here, this is a grunt. Look at the mouth on that thing. You guys see that mouth on him? That is, oh, a tiny, caught him, caught him. Caught, oh, nope, didn't catch him that time. That is a tiny little grunt right there. Great bait right there, that's a great bait, but let's put him back. Three species, four fish, I'll call this a damn success. Okay, I told you guys I was getting you involved and I'm a man of my word, so here we go. Come with me. Let's pick this rod up here. All right, we got the rod in the hand, we got our bait there. Let's just not drop the, the rod in the water. Let's see what we can catch here. All right, bait's going down, bait's going down, bait's going down. Got one. Oh, big boy, big boy. That's a big snapper in the bucket, in the bucket. Y'all, that's the biggest fish of the day there. Look at that thing, snapper. You wanna snap, buddy? Didn't think so. This one's only about six inches. We already got one just like him. Shout out to the bridge fisher. Let's throw him back. Fishing by yourself is challenging, let me tell you what, because I want to be able to, you know, get a good shot, get what I have to get done. I've talked about this in the past, but just know that I'm doing my best to make sure you guys aren't bored, I'm switching up my content, making sure I give you guys some fishing, some fish trap, some aquarium, you name it, I'm bringing it to you guys. I got somebody looking at me right now like I'm a fish guy, and guess what? That's what I am. Do I care? Absolutely not, because guess what? Once you find your passion, you won't give a damn what people think about you. Let's move down, let's go see if we can find some different fish. I'm gonna go to the deeper part of the bridge here and we'll see if we can pull something else out. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, we made a little move. You guys are in the middle of the road now, so let's pray you don't get hit by a car. I can't see anything down here. Water's super dark, but we're gonna cast this thing way out there. Boom. And let's just see if we can catch something. Anybody out there? We got one, we got one. What do we got? What the heck is this? Oh, freaking puffer. <laughs> Look at that little guy. That's hilarious. Oh. Okay, no more puffer fish. We need something new. No more snapper, no more puffer fish, no more grunts. Let's get something colorful, come on. That's a big bite. Oh baby, oh baby. You've gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Another puffer fish. Well, you guys just saw I went on a little bit of a, a little bit of a tear catching the wrong species. We caught like ten of those things today already. We got to try to catch something else before the sun goes down and the people are starting to show up. And you know what? It's getting busy here. People are looking at me like I got ten foreheads, but it is what it is. <sighs> Come on, give me something cool for once. Yeah, fishy. Come on, yellow fishy. Got him, got him. What do we got here? Sergeant Major fish right there, people. That's what was down there. Now that's a little bit more of an aquarium fish. It's got the yellows, it's got the blues, it's got the blacks, the whites, the, the silvers. Pretty epic fish right there. Sending him home. Okay, now before we wrap this show up, we're gonna take a whole shrimp, we're gonna chuck it out there as far as we absolutely can, and we'll see what we can pull on. Let's hope we can get something cool. But I sure did have fun coming out here. Bent the little micro rod, I mean, 
I'm just used to catching those fish, so I'm sure you guys seeing them, you guys love them because you're maybe not used to seeing those fish, but I catch those fish all the time. I was hoping I was gonna catch something else, but you know what? I still had a freaking awesome time, people. I still had an awesome time. Let's get a whole shrimp on, toss it out there. Let's hope we can pull on something big. The day's not over. Okay, biggest bait of the day going out, just about as big as the micro rod. Sling him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so far out there. Let's see if we can catch something on that. There it is. Well, then we got him. Fish on. Fish on. What we got? Oh. I mean, I couldn't stay away from these all day. These are some decent sized snappers though. All right, there's a snapper we just caught. We're gonna end the day on him. Let's throw him back. There he goes. I'm gonna pack up here. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you guys when I'm back at the house. Well, you guys, it's been about 30 minutes since I told you guys I'll see you when I'm home. When I was walking out of there, I had already given my shrimp to the, the guy down the bridge because I was like, you know, I'm leaving. I have a whole pack of shrimp. I only use like two of them. I'll give it to this guy. I give it to him. I look straight down. There is the world's biggest file fish. I'm gonna pop up a file fish on the screen right now. So then I go, I scavenge a little piece of shrimp, put it on the hook, I go trying to find it, I can't find it. Then as I'm looking, I see a big spade fish. I'll pop a spade fish up on the screen. I go, I find a spade fish, I drop it down, and guess what, a snapper eats it. I still have my bait, I'm hunting, 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 hunting for the freaking file fish. I mean, he was like two feet long, blue dots on him, he was so cool, I was like, wow. I would, that would have made the whole video, although we did have a good video, we caught so many fish on the micro rod, it was a lot of fun. Just thought I'd fill you guys in on what almost happened, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when I go out on these adventures, I want you guys to know what's going on all the time. So now, I will seriously see you guys back at the house. Back at the fish guy house, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I was thinking right on the way home, we actually had a pretty damn good day. We got four different species, the snapper, the puffer, the grunt, and the sergeant major. Four different species, our goal was eight, but you know what, I wanted to set the bar high, that way if we fell short, we still had a great day. This water is insanely clear. It's the clearest I've seen it in so long. Help your boys dreams come true. Smash the like on this video. Let's get this video out there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, don't forget, we're heading to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading to the moon and then we're going to Pluto. I love you guys so freaking much. I'll catch you guys in that next video. Peace out. Ladies and gentlemen, Fish Guy Jack was not thinking clearly yesterday. The video is not over. I have to give a shout out to the people in the Discord. Let's see who's chatting it up right now. Let's give a shout out to Fish Tank Frank. Shout out to Dog the Gamer. Shout out to Parrot and Fish Guy Miguel. Shout out to Jack One. Shout out to Patel's Harem. Shout out to Hippo780. We're really going for it all right now. Shout out to Gage. Shout out to Bird Owner who just joined. So thank you very much. And we'll do one more. Let's go shout out to Kim with three M's. Guys, if you want to join the Discord, I'll have it linked in my description of this video. And uh, maybe you'll be shouted out in my next video. I appreciate the love and support, you guys. I'll catch you guys on Sunday. It's going to be a banger. Love you guys. Peace.